No trace of Hannah has been found since she disappeared in the early hours of Saturday, September the 13th, now more than three weeks ago. Somebody listening to me today either knows where Hannah is or knows someone who has that information. Please, please, please help end this nightmare for all of us. Please help us to bring Hannah home. Thank you. It was a crime that shocked that quiet community, a quiet street. Strangulation. Investigators won't tell us many details. Uh, you're recovering Charlottesville. This is kind of a student town. Charlottesville is a big student town. Obviously, it's the home to the University of Virginia. It's a small city that lives, eats, and sleeps University of Virginia. A lot of people ask, you know, why do you do what you do as a reporter? And I point to this case often. Hannah Graham was your typical college student. She was from the UK. She was a student at the University of Virginia. She was popular, very well liked, a very responsible girl. She was just starting her school year and living the typical college life. It's, it's a college weekend. So that night, she texted a friend that she was lost, that she was, wasn't was sure of where she was. That was the last time they heard from Hannah. Friends of hers and hoped that she had crashed at a friend's house, hoped that she was sleeping at, at somebody else's dorm or somebody else's apartment. But the next day, when her roommates knew that she didn't come home, they immediately suspected something wasn't quite right. There was people from all over who were coming to, to UVA and help search for Hannah. The big coliseum there on the grounds of UVA filled with searchers, just public, coming out to, to break up into search crews. And those searches turned up fruitless. It really sparked a citywide, statewide, nationwide scare. What's happened to this young girl? Very soon in the investigation, police put out a plea to the area. If you have any sort of surveillance video from this night in question, review it, check it, see if you see this girl walking anywhere near your property. Pretty quickly, surveillance videos popped up Police put out a plea to the area, if you have any sort of surveillance video from this night in question, review it, check it, see if you see this girl walking anywhere near your property. Pretty quickly, two surveillance videos popped up. One was her walking past a gas station. Then another video popped up of her on the downtown mall walking past a restaurant there. That video in particular was probably the most crucial because there was two different videos from the downtown mall. One of them showed Hannah Graham walking on the right side of the downtown mall. And the video showed a large male with long hair walking on the opposite side. He goes out of frame, but then you see that same person loop in behind Hannah Graham. A separate video then shows Hannah Graham walking with this person. He has long hair, seemingly in dreadlocks, and police immediately wanted to know, does anybody know this person? They wanted to talk to him. People looked at that surveillance video of Hannah Graham on the downtown mall and 
recognized Jesse Matthews and, and, and could point him and place him in different spots, different places. They were searching the perimeter, they were searching the inside. And that day, they walked out of his apartment with over a dozen evidence bags with stuff that they had collected. So one of the things that they found is Hannah Graham's DNA. That was the evidence that they needed to then issue a warrant for his arrest in connection with her disappearance. Jesse was on the run. Who knows where he was going? Was he headed to Richmond? Was he headed to a, a nearby state? There was now this suspect who had lost police and could be anywhere. This story with Hannah Graham going missing had gone nationwide. It paid off because hundreds of miles away from Charlottesville, Virginia, on the beach of Galveston, Texas, there was somebody who said that she had actually seen Jesse Matthews image, and lo and behold, just down from her on the beach was Jesse Matthews. I remember the day that they flew him back on a chartered flight, handcuffed, his legs shackled. This evening, authorities now revealing forensic evidence might link this case to another mystery. In 2009, Harrington was visiting the University of Virginia for a Metallica concert when she went missing. The Morgan Harrington case was a case that rocked this UVA community. A couple of days after Morgan Harrington went missing, her shirt was found close to campus. That shirt had the killer's DNA on it. They now have DNA from Jesse Matthews. They run that DNA against that mystery DNA found on Morgan Harrington's shirt. And it's a match. A while passed and there was always different searches going on. There was a lot of different information coming out. And I remember one day I wasn't in Charlottesville, I was in Richmond and I got a call from a contact there who said that there is a large police presence on this road just outside of Charlottesville. And it was connected to the, to the Hannah Graham case. And I remember asking, did they find her? They found her behind this home in kind of a creek bottom from what they found at the crime scene and the condition that her remains were found in, they knew that there was a struggle and there was a violent struggle. She tried to put up a fight against somebody who was much larger than her. Morgan Harrington's mother told us she was gonna be there every day that he was in court because she wanted to look at him and hope that he would look at her um, as kind of a sense of, we got you. You know, you're not gonna be able to, to hurt anybody else again.